Hi, Dr. Heather here from Wellspring Chiropractic Lifestyle Center. It's good to go without. Our ancestors may have been great hunters, but even the best hunter might have an off day. Whether there's a drought or uh, bad weather or the fish just aren't biting or the other guy's making noise and scaring the, the, the hunt away, whatever the situation, our ancestors actually would have had times of lack. They would have had times of famine. And our bodies were actually magnificently designed to deal with lack or famine. What our bodies were not designed for was abundance and abuse. And so we have to use our prefrontal cortex, our smart part of our brains to deal with that. Otherwise, dealing with lack or famine, all that is already preset for automatic functions. So our bodies actually know exactly what to do with that. And there's a lot of benefit that comes from that because there's an expectation in us genetically that we will have time periods of lack or famine. And therefore, there's a really great practice that you can consider, which is intermittent fasting. Fasting is a time when you're not eating, when it gives the body a time to rest and repair, gives the, gives the digestive system a time to just be at rest. It's also a time that we can be detoxing our bodies. So intermittent fasting means that you're going to condense the time frame of when you're eating in a day. What that means is you may start eating at noon and your last meal is at 6 p.m. So you then have six hours of eating and then you have 18 hours of fasting. A good practice is to try to go a couple days a week with intermittent fasting and then you can build from there. As you do the intermittent fasting, your body actually will start to revert into being a more of a fat burner because the burning of fat is where we have sustained energy. So if you don't have the carbs and the sugar going in all day long, which promotes carb burning, which is that uh, using the blood sugar spiking up and then coming down and crashing. If we revert to fat burning, we have that sustained energy. So if we practice intermittent fasting, that means we're going to reduce the hours in the day that we're eating. And some people may feel like that's gonna be a hard thing to do, but many people actually, once they get started with it, they find that they have more energy, more ability to focus, and that their body is detoxing, their skin is getting clearer, and they're making better choices. Now remember, if you are going to do intermittent fasting, that doesn't give you permission to just binge on either side of it with crap. So we still wanna be incorporating those healthy practices of nutrition and diet. But if we add in the intermittent fasting, it can really benefit us in allowing our blood sugar to stabilize. There have been people that have used fasting to actually get rid of diabetes because it actually allows that blood sugar to really normalize and all the tissues to get healthier and have a chance to heal. So intermittent fasting is something to consider. You can use something called the, the 5 rule where you have five days of intermittent fasting and then one day of a 24 hour water fast where you're, you don't eat the entire day and then a feast day after that. Again, feasting with the healthy foods. So diet variation is actually very good for the body and you'll get healthier if you have that variety. It adds more robustness to the body as well. I hope you found this useful and I hope you will explore this idea of intermittent fasting so you can get all of those health benefits as well and you can be that tremendous hunter-gatherer level of health that everybody wants. Mm -hmm.